What's up everyone, it's Farhan. Welcome to another video. This year GoPro added two new color profiles, HDR and GP Log to the Hero 12 in addition to the standard and flat color profiles. Now I'm gonna compare them in this video so you have a better idea which one to use and when. So let's start with HDR or high dynamic range. Uh, this one is very useful in certain situations. Now when you're in extreme lighting conditions, let's say when you're facing the sun, you get more details in the shadows as well as the highlights because they're well exposed at the same time. And within HDR, you can choose a vibrant or standard color profiles and you can choose the aspect ratio of 16 is to nine or eight is to seven. However, you can only record this in 4K up to 30 frames per second. I do enjoy the look that comes out of the HDR HDR, it's really cool. I do like it. I use it on my FPV and it does give me some good results, especially when I don't want to color grade or do much post processing and I just want to use it to upload for Reels or on TikTok. It's very useful. Now let's talk about GP Log. This one's for the pros who love to fine tune their footage in post production. GoPro Log provides a flat, desaturated look, preserving more dynamic range for advanced color grading. It might not be everyone's cup of tea or coffee initially but the control it offers in post-production is unparalleled. This is one feature that I've been hoping for in an action camera and it's finally here on the Hero 12. However, I think it still needs quite a bit of work. It records in 10-bit and you have controls over your shutter speed and ISO. Now when recording log, if you wanna record in 5.3K, you're limited to 30 frames per second. And when you're recording in 4K, you can do it all the way up to 60 frames per second and you only have the options between 16 is to nine and eight is to seven. However, when recording in log, I did notice quite a bit of noise in the log footage. And this was a little concerning because you shouldn't be having too much noise when, especially when I've locked it to 200 max. I don't understand why that is, but it does add quite a bit of noise in the, in the shadows. And I think that needs quite a little bit of work. I think in my opinion, the GoPro log still needs to be a little more flat, if you will. It's pretty easy to color grade, it's fun, but I still think that GoPro needs to put in a little more work in improving the GoPro log color profile. Next up is the standard color profile. This is your go-to setting for everyday shooting. It strikes a balance between contrast and saturation, delivering vibrant colors and a natural look. It's perfect when you want that classic GoPro feel without too much post-processing. So in the standard color profile, you've got three options of vibrant, natural, and flat. Now, I don't really use flat at all. I just use natural. It gives you a nice natural look. You also have more options with the standard color profile. You've got nine is to 16, 16 is to nine, four is to three, and eight is to seven, which also varies depending on the frame rate and resolution you're filming in. For most of my FPV videos, I tend to use the standard color profile and switch to the natural look, which also records in 10 bit color. It's a good starting point for me to build my color grade upon. So I tend to use that quite often. HDR does provide a really, really nice look. And if you're someone who just likes to record videos and then share it to social media without having to do any post-processing, I would recommend using HDR. It does a really good job. I do enjoy the look from the HDR color profile and I do see myself using it a bit more. I won't be using GoPro Log till they release a few updates in order to fix that noise that is in the shadows. Even with low ISOs such as 200 or 400, there's a significant amount of noise and that just shouldn't be there. So for now, I'll be using the standard natural look, which is what I prefer to use for most of my recording with the GoPro Hero 12. However, I do use the HDR look for some videos that I just wanna to share to social media that I don't really wanna work on as much for post-processing. So which one has been your favorite color profile so far and why? Please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button as it helps out this video and my channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.